Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a uh, Kickstarter video for May 6, 2024. In the Kickstarter video, I take a look at three major currency pairs, the euro versus U.S. dollar, the dollar versus yen, and sterling versus U.S. dollar. From a technical perspective, from a fundamental perspective, we don't have much uh, going on today except some Fed officials uh, are able to speak after the quiet period is over. Last week, the Federal Reserve kept rates unchanged. Fed chair was a bit less uh, hawkish, I guess you can uh, characterize it. And then Friday, we had... U.S. jobs report come in uh, weaker than expectations, which uh, gave the uh, dollar a, um, uh, well, shove to the downside a little bit. Then uh, we saw yields move lower. We saw stocks move higher. Today we're seeing yields down a little bit. We're also seeing stocks up a little bit. And the dollar is, well, we'll get to it in just a second. So let's start off by taking a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar, again, from a technical perspective. All right, taking a look at the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar, I'm going to focus on the four-hour chart this uh this uh, chart we saw uh, last uh, last Friday we saw the dollar move uh, sharply to the downside here this is off the jobs jobs report and in the process the uh, price uh, moved above this uh, swing area through here which uh, was defined by a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs going back in time uh, right through here 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 this is pretty much the low uh, low uh, floor area that was formed and then that floor uh, turned eventually into a little bit of ceiling here moving to the downside moved back above the level tried to hold support against it here well failed on the break below that swing area and then uh, went uh, to the downside through here it wasn't until friday that the price returned back to that area moved a little bit above the uh the swing area also above the 200 day moving average that's a green line in this chart and you can see that after uh failing above that level the 200 day moving average became res resistance and the price uh, uh rotated back down toward the 100 bar or the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart so 200 day 200 bar moving average of the four hour and in trading here today we, we uh based near that uh, 200 uh, bar moving average and then it rotated to the upside and it's the last uh, four hour bar that the price started to move back to the upside in the process we moved uh, back to the well i forget to announce the uh, 50 day 50 percent retracement that's of this move to the downside from the high that we saw in the month month of march to the low so on april the 50 percent came as a 1.07906 and that's where the price is uh, uh, moving up toward right now so not only do we have the 50 percent retracement we have the one, uh, 200 day moving average and this uh, swing area all coming between 1.07906 and 1.08036 so about 13 pips that's going to be the key barometer for traders in trading not only today but uh, uh, going for, forward if the uh, price can uh, stay below that level then uh, we're going to still be ping ponging with the 200 bar moving average down below in the 38.2 percent retracement as uh, support down here on the top side, if we get above this level, that would open the door for a move toward the uh, 100 a day moving average. It's a blue line in this chart and 61.8% retracement of the same move down from the March high to the uh, April low. So uh, be aware of that. But this is going to be the key area, the key, key barometer for both buyers and sellers in trading today and going forward. So be aware, be prepared. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, dollar versus yen next. And uh, this currency pair had a sharp move to the downside in trading last week on monday we, we raced up to the highest level since uh well uh 1990 that's a surprise but at the high price last monday we got within 20 pips of the i think it was a 1986 high price if we would have gone through above 160 uh, 40 that would have taken us to the highest level since uh, uh, 1986 which is a long long time ago the uh, rotation to the downside was uh, uh, fairly volatile uh with the uh, support coming here initially uh, and then bounce back and then we traded above and below these levels you can see how the uh, 200 bar moving average came in play play on the uh, decline right through here found a nice support against that level but back above the 100 bar moving average things got more volatile sort of sort of use a 200 bar moving average resistance here on our way down to this level right here and this level uh, as you can see off of this four hour chart corresponded with these different highs right through here uh, that was a nice little ceiling remember this is a four hour chart so each of these dashed lines represents a week of trading so we had one two three four separate weeks where the high price uh, came right near the 151.96 level not only that folks but if you go back to the weekly chart and uh i'm going to move this in, in a little bit and you take a look at the high price uh, from 2022 the high price from 2023 and the high price from earlier this year, 2024, all those uh, uh, corresponded near that 151.91-ish uh, type area. So the low price that we saw on Friday's trade 
uh, held support right against the high prices from 2022, 2023, and 2024. That's significant, and that's going to be a significant level, not only today, but going forward for the dollar versus yen. As long as the price can remain above this area, going back to the four-hour chart, above this area at near the 91 level, then the, the bias uh, the buyers still remain in play. Also in play is the uh, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart. We moved above that in the Asian session and, just, and rotating back down toward that level. So watch that level as a close barometer uh, for trading here today uh, in, the, in the short term. That level also corresponds uh, roughly with the uh, high price that we saw through here. Again, this is a week. This is like a half a week of trading where the price banged against that ceiling through there. And then uh, on the corrective move to the downside, did find support buyers near near that level right through here. So we are, are uh, you know, watch 150.30 level on the downside for some support. The level also corresponds with the 200 bar moving average and the four-hour chart. So you get the idea. Um, now let's uh, take a look at the Australian versus U.S. dollar. And the Australian versus U.S. dollar, like the euro versus U.S. dollar, moved higher. But we did find early buyers, again, or early sellers against the 100-day uh, uh, moving average. That's a blue line in this uh, chart, chart right through here. Uh, and uh, also... Of interest uh, last week was that how the price stalled uh, or, or actually moved above the uh, what was our remember our value area right through here where the price uh, traded most of the of the time in between these uh, two extremes between 125 95 ish and 128 uh, the price uh, fell fi finally fell below that level for the for uh, well good until last week I guess uh, uh, right through here, trade a couple weeks to the downside through here, and then start its rotation back to the upside. On Friday, we did move above that, uh, back into this value area through here on the break on the uh, break of the uh, one twenty, uh, uh, sorry, the one twenty five uh, ninety uh, one one point two five nine six level. Uh, we also that level also happened to correspond with the fifty percent retracement of the move down from this high to this low right here. So coincidentally, the the value area low was near the. 50% retracement level, and uh, that, that's all extra momentum. But uh, then the market rotated back to the downside and moved back down toward the 38.2% retracement of the same move before moving back to the upside. As you can see, we're moving back toward that 125.96 level as I uh, speak. Uh, we're currently trading at 1.2591. So be aware of that level. If we start to move back into this value area, then we could see ro rotation back up toward the 100-day moving average up here at 126. 42. If we get above that level, then uh, we're starting to make more inroads into what was an old familiar uh, place for the sterling versus U.S. dollar. So that's my technical look at three of the major currency pairs, the euro versus U.S. dollar, the dollar versus yen, the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Start your trading week and day. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.